Turtles and effects, and Nick and Juan get to uh, help launch the new Source Audio Collider Delay Reverb. Right? The Collider, that's right. You said the name correctly. You said the company. You perfectly described what the pedal does in saying the name. It's a delay reverb Ooh. with uh, their dual DSP uh, engine that they had on the Ventress reverb. Yo. AKA you could do a whole bunch of stuff at once. Um, this pedal, the Collider, is basically half of the Nemesis and half of the Ventress. So, uh, Mr. Jeff at Source Audio sent us an email, I don't know, like a couple months ago, like, hey, we're doing something pretty cool. We're doing this pedal, and it's going to be the badass stuff from those two previous pedals that we were both really big fans of, and we're going to just jam it all into one, which was awesome. This is my favorite delay reverb duel that is existing yeah this right. is my favorite hell yes it's the you know the, the the separate engines are super high fidelity as usual coming out of source audio and you hear it, you plug it in you hear it you hear the depth you hear just how lush it is you hear just the fidelity is just incredible but then also functionality man these dudes are just crushing on the on the functionality because that's easy to understand and then you get into the narrow app and then here it is on their app. It's free app. Boom. Look at that. You go in there and you got additional ways to get inside this pedal and, and, and modify your sounds and save your sounds, upload your sounds, upload sounds. When Nick and I get to it, we're going to upload some sounds for you so you can download our sounds. That's the, the community that Source Audio is creating. So I think that this is just another part of the way the future of stuff is going, you know? These guys make these, like, they have probably, like, a lab of computers and programming and engineering and stuff, which is why all the Source Audio stuff is always such high fidelity, so good sounding. It's always perfect sounding yeah. in Source Audio stuff. There's never... There's never, like... We don't ever open something from Source Audio and go, like, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, but it does this. Why Why can't they just fix this? Yeah, Which, honestly, right with like almost 9 out of 10 uh, pedals that we get in, I, I feel like there's always that conversation. Like, eh, that would have been perfect if they would have just done that. Yeah. You don't ever find that with Source Audio stuff. Yeah. It's like very, very carefully laid out, thoughtful. There's never like an issue with their stuff. They must do like a lot of R&D and everything. Even, Lab even, codes. Even white. as simple as like, look at this. Uh, because there's, you know, two different full pedals in here, like, well, what, I forget what the controls do. I forget what it does this. Well, this actually has, look at that, delay. When you're on delay, right. it's green. So the delay knob is the time, the de delay time. Right. When you're on the reverb, it's the pre-delay. Right. With feedback, it's regeneration, it's decay, blah, blah, blah. So they just, they think of everything at Source Audio. Kind of dummy proof. And again, like I was saying to Nick just a second ago, it's dudes with white lab coats and pencils here and pens here and laptops and apps and stuff. And they're just like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. oh, let's fix that. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Actually, you're right. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Hey, let's put this into it. So I really think that this is dummy proof. I mean, if you think that it doesn't have enough options, like look at here. So here there's like the quarter note, dotted, eighth, whatever, triplet. But then you can go into the app and you can access more, you know, different ways to subdivide your, your time. So, you know, you think that you're not, but actually you are. They already thought of it. They're ahead of you. They're yeah. su super smart. People, Genius. I, I feel like people are coming around to the app world. I don't think there's too many, I don't come across too many cranky comments about app, digital app stuff anymore. I just think it's like, it's so practical and cool and easy to use. Also, this is another thing I like about this this little lock button yeah. this lock section yeah there's like a funny little lock thing which we'll show you when we're playing so the knobs don't get jacked when you're you know playing with it so yeah i just think it's they're always solid always really really cool stuff it's it's exciting when your email dings and it's source audio being like, <laughs> yo we got this new thing coming out so. i i mean were they the first ones to come up with the e-dome e-dome is their uh like their own 
reverb engine that they had on the Ventures. It's like, yeah. man, the big arena sound, dog. Like, when you're in the arena, it just gets the big-ass fucking reverb. So, yes, they, they're, they're even innovating in the way that they label their reverbs or sounds or, or functions or whatever. So, you know, we can go through all this other stuff. Yes, it's got MIDI. But, again, like, the thing I always like to mention when somebody does do this, stereo inputs, stereo outputs... The reason I always mention that is because I always get these nerdy keyboard players like, man, if it was only stereo, because that shit always happens in their world. And that's what they want. They make sure that everybody who plays with pedals will get functionality to the fullest out of their source audio. Mm -hmm. Collider, man. Collide this shit. Let's play it some more. All right. Here we go. We got the Collider. Then I busted out the old Source Audio Sound Blocks 2 Multi-Wave Distortion. I think this is one of the very first videos I did with you here. We did a video on this. Yeah. Because it's like fold-back distortion, so it's kind of a different distortion sound. But uh, we're not talking about that. Although, if I was going to talk about the Sound Blocks 2 series, I would say I think in years to come these will be sought after and people will care about them. Hell yeah. Because they're, they're just this weird shape that, like, I don't think... I think it just was lost on people. But I always thought it was so cool and spaceship looking that I think at some point these will go for a lot of money, you know, years down the line. But anyways, we're talking about the Clyder. Uh, also, what's this guitar I'm playing? This is my Jazz Master with newly retrofitted Cur Curtis Novak Wide Range Jazz Masters. So there's no buzz. These are humbuckers in a Jazz Master, which is pretty and cool. And look at this fucking adult man putting Legos on his guitar. What does it spell? And doesn't spell shit. Oh. I, uh, I, there's no rhythm circuit on this guitar, so there's holes in the guitar. Oh, fucking genius. So. Oh, now you're going to get eight for that, Nick. That's fine. I I'll let you could ate me for that. But I, I the the pick guard that came on this guitar was a different uh, layout. Like the the pickup selector switch was up here. Yeah, right. And so I had it rerouted to down there. So when I bought the new pick guard, this guitar doesn't have a rhythm circuit, but the the pick guard had the rhythm circuit. So instead of just having a whole bunch of holes, I had glued fucking Legos to it. Hell yeah! And where's that sticker from? The sticker is, uh, I always forget how to pronounce this. Neuschwanstein. It's the Disneyland castle in Germany. Oh, shit. It's what the Disneyland castle was based off of that I got to visit a couple years ago. Anyways, should we, like, hear what the pedal sounds like? Well, they're probably or... like, all right, man, where's this fucking counter? All right. So, uh, so you got your... Um, just like on all this format with Source Audio stuff, you got your presets, four different presets. But actually, right, when you're saving a preset, you're saving the delay side and you're saving the reverb side. So it's four delay presets, four reverb presets, okay? And then I think you could even expand that, maybe. Yes, to eight. Through, yeah, you have to go in to the app and then you can make it to where there's eight in on the on the actual device and then if you use a MIDI device like like 128 some you know you know how they got are it. got it got it my man's my man's did his homework more, more than I did uh, but so anyways if we're just rolling old school without all that additional stuff you have four presets which is like I said you're presetting the delay side and the reverb side when you recall a preset it's it, you don't turn them both on at the same time. They work independently of one another, right? So check it out. So when I turn this guy on, let's, okay. I'm going to go through here. You see the different um, engine switching, right? Ooh. Uh, so I have my oil can delay. So this should be my preset for what I had my oil can delay at. Really, really nice oil can uh, delay. This dude right here works as a tap tempo, which is funny because you're like, well, how would it work as a tap tempo if it's also the bypass uh, switch? Well, if you were to do this, check it out. You're not actually turning it off, right? You're just jacking with the, the tap. In order to turn it off, you just kind of press it instead of tapping it. Feel me? Mm -hmm. Right, and you can buy, you can change that because that can be confusing to some people. Like, wait, I want to turn it off, so I need to hold it for a second. Just go into the guts and the app and switch that if you please. Mm -hmm. 
the thing about this is like there's no i'm sure the more and more we play this we'll get wild sounds but this is like a lot of classic sounds boom do you know what i mean like look oil can reverse tape analog digital that's like all you need when we're talking like classic sounding delays that kind of covers everything you would want if you just are looking for a delay pedal Okay, then you come to the reverb side. So what do I got this on? I have it on a room, probably a really, really chill room sound. And then turn on the delay. In the app, you can switch uh, how the order. So like right now, it's the delay cascading into the reverb, you can probably switch that. You definitely can in the app. There's You get into the app and then you get super, super nerdy. I'm not saying you should get into this control input stuff and MIDI and stereo and blah, blah, blah. That's not necessary if you're like me. But having the app, I think, is a really, really cool To me, it's thing. the easiest way that I found to get really... Yeah, yeah, the app is the easiest way yeah. to get into this sucker and really like modify it to your taste. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this little dude right here, this just selects what you want to be tweaking, right? So when you've got it over there, all these knobs are for the delay stuff. When you're over here, it's all for reverb. And when you're in lock, it's locked up. Yeah, locked down. Super simple. Uh, the, so we got an alt function for the delay bypass, which is the tapping, right? So what is the reverb alt function? Well, let's find Imagine out. Imagine what Let's it find is. out. <laughs> Hold. Maybe not revolutionary because we've had other reverbs who do that, but you got to do that now. That's I, I did that without even reading anything. I go, I bet if I hold down the reverb, it's going to suspend it, and it did. If you have like a badass looking reverb pedal like this now, that's what you have to have. Oh, you yeah. should have it be an in, in infinite buddy. hold. So let me show you what this other sample I have uh, is a reverse delay. Wonder what that's going to do. experience reverse delay yeah, he does he does reverse on that well he they, they did the tape oh the yeah video. yeah okay. i'm like wait what was he rocking a reverse <laughs> delay? let's see what it sounds like with the sound blocks multi-wave Just insanely solid sounding. Come over on my number two preset to the reverb side. Oh look, I've got the E dome, which is the Enormo dome, cavernous, massive reverb that Source Audio came up with in the Ventress. Okay. I want the mix to be full wet, but I'm still hearing I'm still hearing the dry in there. Dang it, what's wrong? Oh yeah, because I'm not selected to the reverb side. So here we go. Look at that. Dry. Full wet. It's like a worship guitarist, wet dream. Yeah, fuck, hell yeah. Dude. Heavenly scent. Dude. Divine intervention. I could just see myself like full on worshiping with this thing. Hell yeah. Like just bowing down to our one true creator. <laughs> Hendrix. <laughs> with the reverse delay. Yes, let's collide it.
Yo, Juan's time with the Collider. Hey, you know what I found out as I was good and trying to get all my sounds that it went on the mix knob, usually like I find with most pedals, pretty much almost all pedals, that the 12 o'clock is actually, well, usually fucking wet, dry, even split 50-50. Here on Source Audio, it's 3 o'clock. And I get going, man, am I bugging out? So it's three o'clock, but doesn't matter. So uh, I did some uh, presets for this, which I intend on uploading to the Neuro app. And you can just go in there and look it up and I'll tell you how to do all that in the, in the post. But anyway, um, so you can upload this and get this exact sound that I'm about to do. But it's basically, uh, as you can see, I have the reverse engaged with the delay. And then on, uh, on the uh, reverb side, I have the swell and this is what I came up with, which I think sounds pretty tight. Um. There's a front pickup. So it has like kind of like a tremolo a little effect. I found that when I was tweaking with the reverse because I was trying like, you know, like the delay stuff is all cool. Everybody has their delay things that they do with. But I was like going, okay, how can I flip shit on his head and try to find some weird shit? So I combined the two weirdest things, which I thought were the weirdest things, which were the swell and the reverse. And I kind of came up with it. I saved the, the in the first preset, kind of how where, where it all started, which was this. So it's a little more chopped off. It doesn't have the, 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 the delay time hanging out. So it's like. I mean, to me, like that shit's weird. And so I wanted you all to get some weird shit when you download my, uh, my little uh, setting. And then uh, the other thing I wanted you to, uh, I wanted to, so I, I thought that was a little dull. The one thing that's cool about these delays is that they also have a tone knob. And so if I wanted to brighten it up a little. So I'm, I'm, I'm basically brightening up the affected side, the wet side, not the signal. So a little bit more like tinny, you know, that's what's cool on the tone knobs. So you can see this on the app, also on the manual that you can get online. But so it's basically what it tells you is that whatever delay or reverb that you're in, what the control knobs do. So sometimes it's modulation depth for the, for the delays. Actually, it's modulation depth on all the delays. And then modulation rates on, on knob two. But when you get into the reverb, sometimes it's bass. Sometimes a shimmer crossfade, swell sensitivity for the swell reverb. So you got to just like go in there. So it's not it's not the same function. Obviously, it was in the delay, but on the reverb, it switches up a little. So you got to you know get into that when you start creating your your presets. So then uh, and then the other one I came up with, I think I put it in two. All right, so uh, this is a more traditional kind of delay reverb setting. I, I I'm you can see from the where the lights are in my preset. Um, this is preset two. I'm in just straight up digital reverb, hall, I'm sorry, hall reverb, digital delay. Here we go.
So there's so much other shit in this that Nick and I aren't even really covering. Like, yeah, if you hit the shim. Full wet. That shimmer is it tracks really well that's a good shimmer I feel like it like a lot of times with people doing the shimmer thing it's like not the octave isn't always there it's almost like they half ass it so it's like it'll be it'll kind of have that like modulated sound quote unquote like oh right. it's modulated but no it's just not tuned to the whole fucking octave but that one actually sounds really right good. and again like you know we also didn't mention because we just figured that it goes without saying but we will mention that expression pedal shit you can do with this and the other thing like yeah I love that we can do this and then you can play on top of it oh, when you have the mix now right trip on that. 